looking, not looking, not looking. <laughs> no way. That was nuts. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be mocking up the engine, setting up the blower and the manifold and the hat, and we're gonna get our first look at how it looks in the car. First off though, uh, I wanna wrap those butterflies though because I want them to be red when they go in the car, obviously. So, pff, no point wasting time, let's get into it. I've started off with clean, uh, cleaning this up, polishing it a little bit, put a bit of uh, bead maker on it, and you can definitely see that it's, uh, it's a little bit better. You can actually get a sheen off of it and a reflection, like, you can actually get a reflection off of it, whereas this side's still a bit cloudy and everything like that. Um, I'll need to spend a lot more time on it. I want to see how good I can get it before we result to clear coating it, because if I've done this with a couple minutes worth of work, it can probably only get better. But, um, not many, I don't know if many of you know carbon too well, but you can see kind of some spots along here, where it's like high and low spots, where it's like glossy and then not glossy, and there you go, you can see those ones just down the middle of the screen. That means that uh, I actually think they went for a dry carbon look on this, and they didn't put much clear coat on it at all, if not any, and it's just the epoxy or something like that, because that means that it's really close to the carbon. So, polishing it, you can see that it's going black because I am actually polishing the carbon itself a little bit. So yeah, it might be a best bet to clear coat it, but yeah, it, it, it is working, so I'm gonna keep going. Um, now, what we're doing now is I want to wrap the butterflies red. So that, because obviously blue is not going to uh, suit the uh, wagon very much. So I've still got quite a bit of uh, the red left over from the wagon. And I was like, how am I going to measure the diameter of this to try and make it easy? I'm gonna cut, like cut a circle, cut it in half and try and do it in halves. And I was trying to figure out how to measure it and what dimensions I could do for it. And then I had a quick idea. But like, imagine if like the bowls that we had or something would be the right size. And God dang it, these bowls that we've got just here, these like, I don't know, bowls we use every day, the exact fit for the hole. So exact or so almost exact and just a little bit oversized that by using this, it should be a perfect size cutout. So all I've done is measure it. Now I'm gonna cut it out, then I'll fold it in half, cut down the line, and we'll give it a go. As you can see, I've cleaned them out. Oh, they're a little bit dirty in the corners. I might give it another clean over. But I've got my two little half moons. Oh, you can see the flake really nice in this light. That'll pretty much, I do want them to be the tiniest bit oversized still. Now, obviously, like you can see, like gaps around the bottom, but it's obviously sitting in the middle. Um, yeah, and if it, if it doesn't work, I guess I just keep trying and like use this as a template to go bigger and bigger. Uh, but I'm gonna give this first one a go. I got that first one done. Now, the lighting is really horrible in here, and we haven't got any good outside light today because it's raining and it's crappy. Okay, so it's really cold and miserable, so I haven't opened the door just yet, and it's really dark in here but I got the hat over here, bonnet off. I think it is time to mock this bitch up. I'm gonna go and get the manifold and the blower. So, got the manifold sitting on there now, and it comes up pretty high, but as you can see, like I was talking about in the last video, it sits under this quite a bit. So, I'm wondering if I should just take it off completely. I don't know if I should take it off or cut it. I mean, it's one or the other, so I might just cut it and then take it off if I need to. Yeah, I might do that. Okay, so it was much easier to just completely rip it off, and like you can see, that has removed all issues of clearance. So I'm super happy with that. Now I'm gonna try and manhandle the blower out here and try and get it on here myself, which is, uh, I don't think going to be an easy task, but I am, I guarantee I'll get it there somehow. <laughs> all right, let's get that. Whew, that was difficult. That was a one-two yeet kind of moment. But, oh God, that just works absolutely perfectly. Um, so it just shows you how much shit we're gonna have to get rid of because a belt has to go down here. There's no way a belt's going down there at the moment. So a lot of that's gonna have to change. But now, piece of resistance. And luckily, because this is carbon fiber, I should be able to do this one-handed if I can get underneath it. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. It's like just below the roof line. Oh, that is gorgeous. Holy crap. Now the, uh, the wrapped butterflies look even better when it's next to the car. All right, I'm gonna put the roller door up so we can see it properly. Oh, no way. Oh, are you guys ready for this? This is freaking nuts. Oh, look at that. Get a bit of butterfly action in there for you. Holy crap. That is nuts. I'm going to change it to the other lens style because this lens actually kind of warps it a bit and looks a bit funny. So that's a, a lot better. Oh. It's weird, it kind of looks a bit funny on camera, but like in person, it is just so perfect. It is like perfect proportions. Oh man, it looks absolutely mental. Wow. And like, oh, just, oh, far out. I can't wait to cut the bonnet and get it on there. That's really gonna top it off. But holy crap, that looks insane. Wow. Holy crap. So my mate just freaking asked me, he was like, how's it look from inside the car? I haven't even looked inside the car yet. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to film this because this is going to be the, an inaugural moment. This is going to be huge in the build. Not looking, not looking, not looking. Oh, oh, oh no way. Oh, 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 you are joking. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that view. I would put it on the wider lens, but you wouldn't see anything because it's too dark today. But oh my God. Oh. Jesus. Okay. Yep. Cool. But oh, wow. I know this doesn't freaking like do any justice, but just looking at that is retarded. Just, oh. And obviously the camera just doesn't show how big it is, but it's just so perfect. Oh my God. If you can't tell, this is like a childhood dream coming true right here. Like my, my dream car with a blower and a carbon hat. This is like, I, I could die tomorrow. Okay, look, maybe we should start it first, but like, Look, look, look at that wagon, the blower. Oh, completing my life right here. God freaking damn it. I just can't stop looking at it. I wish we had the wheels. The wheels will be here in like two weeks, if that. Oh. Now I know that this light makes them look kind of like purpley and crappy, but they look really good. It's literally, it's the same as that. It literally looks so good. But I didn't know how it would look color matching them. Definitely the go. It looks insane. But I think at least that should be where we leave it today. Um, so coming up this week, we are going to cut the bonnet. That's going to be the next video. We're going to cut the bonnet so we can get it on there and look good. And the video after that, we're going to be painting it all. So I'm going to paint it all black and everything. I'm going to try it myself because, I mean, like, if I fail, then I'll just pay whatever it costs to get a professional to do it. But I really want to do it myself. I think I might also clear coat the hat, um, get a get a can of uh, the two two pack clear that you have to like actually that you actually have to mix the compartments together like the proper two K clear, um, so I can buff it and sand it and everything and get it perfect. Um, and then this weekend it gets the uh, top end all done. Uh, we're going to take it up to Sydney to get all the top end done. At the same time, we're going to be going to Burnout Masters. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be a huge weekend of of content. So the next couple of weeks is going to be huge. Um, so especially if you're keen to see the rest of this build, I'd be subscribing, hit, hit that button, turn on the notifications because it's only going to get crazier from here on out. Alrighty guys. So I'm probably going to have to sign it off here. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video, Wednesday, 6 PM. If you are new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 PM. So make sure you do turn on those notifications. Hit us up on Instagram. This is where we upload everything first. If you were on Instagram, you would have seen photos of this first before everyone else. Definitely make sure you jump onto the Instagram and follow us over there as well. Alrighty guys, catch you in the next one. Wednesday, 6 p.m. Be there or be square. Alrighty guys, 
Okay, I'm